Hi guys, good morning. How are you everyone? So today, as what you can see, I'm in the kitchen. So today I'm gonna cook uh, bihon, which is this is uh, Filipino food. Everybody loves this uh, kind of uh, uh, menu, the bihon. And today, guys, there's a challenge because the kids, they told me how we're gonna watch your vlog on, and your videos if we're gonna understand what are you talking. So today, the challenge is cooking bihon with English language only. So what, whatsoever I gonna talk here now up to you guys if you will understand or okay whatsoever so we will start i have here guys the ingredients to make uh, bihon i know everybody knows how to cook bihon because this is very simple it's not a lot of ingredients but it's uh, healthy and tasty because it has some veggies so it's very healthy these are my ingredients guys of course i have here this is the bihon i already soak in water and uh, cut in a half piece because it's very long the brand i'm using is this one i cannot find the flat one the orange one i forgot the name this is uh, vermicelli two pack i use two pack because since they love to eat this one i'm gonna cook a little bit more okay i have the vermicelli i have here one whole cabbage i already cut in shredded and wash already and uh, strain and i have here one whole uh, carrot i already cut and uh, clean and shredded and quarter piece of uh, yellow bell pepper they don't like the taste of uh, bell pepper i just uh, put because it has something uh, special taste on it it's uh, tasty to put in the veggies they will just remove when the time they will eat guys so and i have here one piece of uh, shredded fresh onion i cover with the plastic because it's uh, very strong the smell while i'm not yet cooking i put the plastic and I have here the most important thing is ta -da! I have here one kilo of chicken breast I already cut and uh, already put the spices on it I already finished marinated I put inside of it to marinate I use uh, ginger powder here ginger powder um, some uh, uh, black pepper it's already finished okay and i have here seven spice these seven spice i don't know what's inside of it i will not uh, i don't know guys but some here they are using mostly this uh, kind of seven spice it's already complete inside but individually i want to add uh, more of this for more taste and then uh, maji seasoning the most important thing this is so tasty to put inside the chicken when you marinate it and the uh, kikuman soya sauce yeah okay no speak tagalog kikuman they have here this one and a little bit of garlic this is already this is garlic i already uh, mashed and put in freezer so whenever i want to use i have already prepared garlic not all of this guys just uh, pick a little bit about one uh, uh, spoon put inside of the chicken and uh, give uh, extra taste when you marinate the chicken and then uh, okay finish everything and i have here also beef maggi cubes for taste okay let's start guys all right for cooking okay we start the fire now i'm gonna use uh, canola oil for cooking they are healthy here so they are not using another brand of oil just canola oil don't put too much just a little bit okay Wait until it's hot. Mo 
mostly guys, uh, some are, uh, some uh, they cook food, they, they put first the garlic, but me, since it's very fast to burn the garlic, I put first the onion, the shredded onion. I will prepare first the veggies. Okay, because when you cook bihon or vermicelli noodles, it's uh, step by step. First, we need to cook the veggies separately, and then the next is the chicken separately, and then the noodles. Here, I need to cook separately because uh, some of them, they are not eating veggies. They will just eat the noodles with chicken, and some with the veggies and uh, mix with chicken. So, okay. Now it's already done. So, take a little bit the onion, it's good like that. I will add garlic. Just a small spoon of garlic. Okay. They love garlic, so I, I will put extra. This much, guys. This spoon. Okay, alright. It's done. Wait also until it became a little bit brown, the garlic, so that the taste will be nice. I'm not very good in cooking, but today I, I don't have anything to share with you guys. So since I will prepare today Filipino food, let's share with you guys. Okay, it's already done, not so brown the garlic because the taste will be changed, I didn't like taste burn. And now I'm gonna put the bell pepper, okay, saute as well a little bit. After that, the carrot. Hopefully, I'm doing right. All of us, all of us guys, we have a different way of cooking. So up to you. But this, me, this is my way of cooking this vermicelli or bihon. Next, I will put the cabbage. Okay. Oh my god, it's too much. Okay. The cabbage. guys for the noise okay i will put a uh, cover a little bit about five minutes so that the cabbage will uh, uh, go down and cook a little bit before i mix because now the pot is full i cannot uh, mix for now okay guys so so meanwhile we are waiting for our uh, cabbage here we will do the chicken okay for the chicken since it's already marinated the chicken we don't need to put uh, onion and garlic ah, okay i will put uh, a little bit of garlic i will put a little bit of oil cooking oil just a little bit and then 
one spoon of garlic for the taste. They don't have here, like in Philippines, we have the um, seasoning, maji, magic sarap, something like that. So, I'm just keep on putting garlic and onion for the taste. Anyway, I have already this one, so this will give a nice taste. And the kikuman soya sauce. Okay. Just wait also the garlic just to become a little bit golden brown before we add the chicken. Okay, just like this. Look, just it's it's pot no, there's no garlic. It's just like that. And then we will add now the chicken. Just wait guys until the chicken became a little bit golden brown. We check the cabbage how it is look like now. Still not yet going down. But we try to mix. Oh still full. Okay, we will just keep it a little bit more. Put cover. Okay. So guys, this is how it looks like. The veggies now after 5 minutes became like this. Alright, finish now the vegetables. We just uh, keep aside since it's already done. I don't like the veggies uh, cooked very well so that when you eat the noodles it's still uh, crispy a little bit the veggies so it's nice it's like that so the veggies is already done and the chicken still uh, not yet done the chicken it look like this after five minutes i want to wait until it became a little bit golden brown so that the taste of the chicken will be nice. Okay. So meanwhile, we are waiting for the chicken done. The veggies is already done. We are waiting for the chicken also to be done. I will prepare the sauce for the vermicelli. Ayan. Oh, nut. Donut, donut, donut. Talk Tagalog. Okay, guys. This challenge. Oh, my G. Okay, to prepare sauce, I will put also one spoon, one um, small spoon of garlic. I'm lost now. It's all about garlic. Garlic is nice. It's antibacterial. It, it's nice for our health oops there's a health advice also bonus okay i'm gonna put a little bit of oil as well okay wait until the garlic became a little bit golden brown okay and then I will add now the beef maggie cubes. One piece only, guys, because this is very salty. So we don't want the noodles will be very salty because I'm gonna add also soy sauce on it and maggie seasoning. 
Okay. You know why I put now the Maggi cube so that it will be easy to melt on uh, oil than inside the water? Because sometimes it's not melting the Maggi cubes inside the water. So it's easy to melt it alone in the oil. And then once it's uh, melt and it's done, you add water. Okay, this is it. There's no cube anymore. So now I'm gonna add water. Okay, just enough to cook the vermicelli, not too much. About maybe three cups for two packets of vermicelli. I don't know guys, I will not measure but up to you. If you will cook a lot, then add more water. If you will just cook a little bit, just little water. Okay, so I gonna add here Maggi seasoning. Just up to you guys. You need to taste. When it's not yet correct the taste, you can add more. And then keep cumin, soya sauce. Alright. And then, where is my black pepper? Okay, a little bit of ginger powder. We love to put ginger powder. Okay. That's it. Mix until it will boil. So it's in here now, our chicken. This is how it looks like. A little bit golden brown, but it's not burned. It's not really fried. Just wait until it's golden brown, the chicken. Okay, guys. It's done, the chicken. Done, the veggies. Done, the chicken. Now the sauce is already boiling so we're gonna put our noodles all right here we go it's already boiling okay let us put now our vermicelli since the sauce it's already done boiling already okay okay so turn off the fire for the chicken we're gonna keep aside those since it's done already, okay, we proceed to our noodles. I think my sauce is a bit too much. Anyways, there's no problem. Because these noodles, it's very fast to absorb the sauce, whether you put a lot. Okay guys, it's done my uh, noodles, bihon noodles, vermicelli noodles with chicken and veggies whatsoever. This is how they call it. And uh, you know already that guys, this challenge OMG. So okay guys, this is the vermicelli. It's already done. It's very fast. You know how fast it is when you cook the bihon. But the thing is, I gonna in Philippines when we cook like this uh, uh, dish, the the veggies we put inside of the noodles and the chicken as well. We mix all together. But uh, here in this house, 
the kids they like just chicken with noodles and the big ones they like the veggies and chicken mixed with the noodles so up to them what they like that's that's why i just keep it those separately when the time they want to eat they will choose which uh, which one they want to put on top of their noodles so that's right that's that's it for today in my vlogs guys thank you all so much i hope wow i i talked tagalog right so i hope i did it right this uh, cooking so thank you all so much guys for watching and if you are new to my channel don't forget to like share and comment and subscribe to my channel bye